Good evening and welcome to each and every one of my brothers and sisters. I want to thank you for being here. I want to appreciate you taking time out to study the Word of God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, touch each and every one of us, Father God. Let your mercy, let your grace, let your love pour out upon us. Let your word penetrate and give us the spiritual wisdom understanding that we need pour out your grace and mercy upon us in these last days give us spiritual eyes and spiritual ears and understanding father i pray thee in jesus christ's precious name yeshua amashia amen and i want to welcome you to another episode my name is Dr. PJ and welcome to the prophetic word. In this segment, I'm going to be teaching about the Holy Immaculate Conception of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua Amashia. And I just want to establish a little background as I move forward to the book of Luke. And let's go to Luke chapter 1 and a little bit about the Apostle Luke Luke was a medical doctor actually he was a also a surgeon so he was a medical doctor and a surgeon he did surgery so God has nothing against medicine doctors and those who do surgery they're here to help us and help the people of God and help you live a more longer and healthy life father let's turn to Luke and let us start in verse Luke 1 I'm reading from the King James Version and I want to give you a little bit of the background let's go to verse the 23rd verse and I want to express that Elizabeth and Mary they were cousins they were first cousins I'll give you a little bit of background because I want you to go back and see the months and the dates and all the confusion that we are in right now and let's go to the 23rd verse I'm gonna lay the bottle ground I'm gonna lay it out I'm gonna take you here to bring you up to another level in the 23rd verse I read and it came to pass that as soon as the days of administration were accomplished he departed to his own house and after those days his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself five months saying thus at the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men and in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin exposed espouse to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary and I want to pause there for a minute because I want you to understand like there are Hebrew calendars and Hebrew months and we have a lunar solar calendar that was given to us by Almighty Father our Creator and all of that is laid out in the book of Genesis one day have basically 12 hours but they as reverse everything they have deceived us so I just want you to know that this month of December the 25th of December is actually the sixth month in the Hebrew on the 25th day that is the day when the 
the angel Gabriel was sent to Mary. And I want to pause for a minute. I want you to remember that this prophecy was prophesied hundreds and hundreds of years before it came to pass. If we go back in biblical studies, you will find that there, in the book of Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, I read, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. So this was prophesied hundreds of years before it took place that there will be a virgin to bring forth the Messiah, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Savior, Emmanuel, Yeshua Amashiach. Amen. So I'm only laying the battleground so you can get the understanding of what is taking place because a lot of people do not understand that there are the solar calendar the gregorian is the solar and the julian and like all of these days that we say december mean 10th month september mean seventh month so i can go on and go on but i'm going to compile everything and put it in a in a video so you can actually see it but right now we're going to stick to this story which is the immaculate conception the holy conception of our lord and our savior the savior of the world jesus the christ yeshua amashia in verse 28 i read and the angel came in unto her and said hail thou art highly favor the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and when she saw him she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner a salutation this should be and the angel said unto her fear not mary for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in the womb, thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus, which is Yeshua, Emmanuel. He shall be great, and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end then Mary said unto the angel how shall this be seeing I know not a man and the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she had also conceived a son in her old age and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren for with god nothing shall be impossible and mary said behold the handmaid of the lord be it unto me according to thy word and the angel departed from her hallelujah and mary arose in those days and <coughs> went to the hill country 
with haste into the city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, thank you. Amen. Amen. And she spake out with a loud voice. This is Elizabeth. And said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me that the mother of my Lord shall come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believe. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit had rejoiced in God my Savior. For he had regarded the low estate of his handmaid. For behold, from thenceforth, all generations shall call me blessed and favored. For he that is mighty had done to me great things, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He had short strength with his arm, he had scattered the proud and in the imaginations of their hearts. He had put down the mighty from their seats, exalted them that of low degree. He had filled the hungry with good things and the rich he had sent empty away. He had hoping his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy and he spake to our fathers to Abram and to his seed forever and Mary abode with her about three months and turned to her house to her own house amen these are the words of Mary the mother of our Lord and Savior I just want to let you know that I will be teaching December is actually the sixth month in the Hebraic and if you count from the sixth month like she found out she was pregnant count nine months Jesus was born on September the 29th and a high Sabbath. Be blessed and be encouraged. My name is Dr. PJ. And I will appreciate any of these rabbis. If they can just say well. You don't know what you're talking about. And I doubt they will say it. I do my homework. And I do it very well. Be blessed and be encouraged. In Jesus mighty name. Have a blessed and wonderful week. My name is Dr. PJ and I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.